Well, I've been asked a whole bunch lately why I am not trying the research apps, something like Hypernotes or Noteplan3, Rome Research, Spring Notes, all these other things. I, I did review Noteplan2. Why am I not looking at Noteplan3? That's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get into that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one is to become a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Number two is to take one of my courses on Skillshare. You'll find a link below to my Zettelcasting course or to my course on Tick Tick or Time Blocking, uh, or you can just go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare where you can sign up and grab a course. And I get a little bit of kickback off that, so thank you very much. You can also join me on Discord, link below. We have a bit of a, we have a very small chat going on at this point. Uh, but yeah, join me. I'd love to interact with you there. Let's get going. So why don't I try all the apps out there? Hypernote is the one that kind of prompted this because a whole bunch of people asked me about it and then the Hypernotes people emailed me and emailed me and emailed me and just kept emailing me until I said, you gotta stop this. Like I cannot field an email every day. And you know, in some ways they're being persistent with their marketing, that's fine. I'm not upset with them. And when I asked, hey, can you just stop? Like I know your stuff. They, they said, hey, sorry, and they stopped. There was no problems, no fault against Hypernotes. But why am I not trying it? Why am I not reviewing every little feature of a remnote of, I don't know, pick your one, pick the one you really want. And because it's not my job. Um, in the organized mind, Daniel Lepin says that when it comes to organization, we shouldn't spend more time devising a system than, like more time devising a system to file our records than we'll gain by actually using it. Um, so when it comes to try out new applications, I kind of take the same way. All these apps have interesting features. If you like whatever one, I don't care, use it. Like, Don't do what I do just because I do it. Use the app that works for you, and that's totally fine. Um, and even when it comes to task managers, they all do some things differently. They all do some things really well. Things is maybe one of the prettiest for Mac OS and iOS, but you know, Todoist has actual collaboration features. Um, things are less problems, like you cannot complete a repeating task before the repeating task is due on the day. Like I can't say, oh, I already did this other thing and say, it's just done. I have to just wait till the day comes up. Well, there's some things that I like, would wish Craft would have even, um, like compound searching for tags, stuff like that. My job is not to do that. In fact, I don't even know what my job is YouTube, really. My job or what I really want to be doing is spending time researching and connecting notes. And that is not done by researching new tools. Researching new tools is a lot of fluff work. Like it's an easy way to say I'm making progress on something without actually making any progress whatsoever on anything because I'm literally not, not doing the work of actually researching. So my channel is about what I find interesting in many ways. Right now it's a lot of research tools and it's uh, you know been books for a long time on my site and my channel. And that's what it will continue to be. I might look into other tools at a time, but for me, there has to be a strong positive argument to make a switch. And, uh, you know, even while I think the Obsidian uh, is a much stronger option than it was on iPad, it's like actually a really good option on iPad now, the cost of switching back to Obsidian from Craft is so high that I'm just never, I'm not going to do it. It's literally not worth it. And not because Obsidian's bad, but because it's not so much better than what Craft provides me that I will get, you know, all that productivity back in the time of switching over my, you know, now two and a half thousand notes. I will not get it back. It just will not happen. So I'm not going to make the switch. Over the long term, that's the only reason I change tools is when I can identify a strong positive when there's a good reason to change. So I'm kind of looking at task managers now because my job changed, because I'm not running my own business anymore. I am running a web development team. And because that changed, and my task needs have changed. And I'm actually looking to see what other task managers might have. I will stream that at some point. We've just, it's been busy weeks with the family, so I've had to skip the streaming. But they will come up. They should be on Fridays between one and four sometime, probably for an hour or two uh, Pacific time. That's it. Changing tools is almost never worth it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. If you think I'm wrong, Tell me why. I'd love to hear it. Why is it worth spending your time trying out a whole bunch of new tools instead of actually doing the thing that the tools are meant to help you do? I'm going to think you're wrong, probably. But hey, we can have a discussion about it if you want. If you want to support the channel, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. 
or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. Links below or uh, chrismichael.ca slash Skillshare will take you right there. And you can join me in Discord. Link below. Have a good day.